It's a hot summer's day in Hong Kong, and Eric Lee is waiting for his tram. Unlike the city's buses, trains and taxis, the century-old electric tram network has no air conditioning. It can be a sweltering ride, but for years it's been the only way Eric likes to get around. When I was young, I always cried. My mum brought me to the tram stop, uh, and I heard the ding ding sound from the tram. Uh, I stopped crying. Like many locals, Eric cherishes his city's iconic trams. Since he was a boy, he's collected toy replicas and often puts them on public display along with tickets dating back 107 years. Nowadays, there are no paper tickets. You pay by cash or prepaid card, and at just 30 US cents a ride, the trams are the cheapest mode of public transport. It was definitely worth the $2.30. Uh, a bit hot, a bit crowded, but uh, you know you get a good view from up top, which is part of the also you know part of the reason to do it. Nearly a quarter of a million people use the city's 163 double-deck trams each day. It's the biggest such fleet still in operation in the world. And launched back in 1904, it is one of the oldest. It has a, such a long history, uh, more than 100 years. So I think it has become part of Hong Kong and uh, it's our heritage. In this time, the city has transformed and grown, but the tram lines remain the same. People's love of the so-called ding-ding cars may ensure generations to come will also enjoy this old-fashioned transport of a bygone era.